hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thanks for watching uh, my previous videos and please share uh, with your friends and colleagues uh, about this uh, my channel okay so today we will talk about uh, to how to get the network status in a react.js application so last week i was created one video which was did uh, to the uh, get a network status in a angular js so now we will Today we will talk about two, how to get the same network status in the Angular JS. Okay, so I was already written the one uh, uh, in same uh, article in my same website crowd for gigs here. So you can see the same things and whatever. So this was uh, the actual uh, article which was written by me. So according to this article, I was trying to be create a one uh, small application for you. So we will start from here only. So this is the first command which was written uh, from your side. So this is the my folder structure. So I'm just create updating this application now. This was starting uh, creating my storing the package and everything over there. Okay. Then uh, once this was completed, we will go to the CD and then run the npm start command. So basically, in this application, uh, we will uh, basically react this is a framework of the JavaScript. Okay. So then uh, we will put a reply uh, toaster uh, JS. This is the React toasty uh notify uh basically a package in we can put it over there and then uh, we will define this uh code also and this is the final uh function which was written over there okay so we'll uh, discuss over there okay this was right now it's ongoing now it's almost completed we will think we will think no 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 see yeah this was ongoing this also yeah that is done now so we will go ahead the my app okay now i will start the npm start command okay so this was uh, once this was started it's automatically goes to a local host 3000 okay now you can see uh, here this was take uh, some okay this was successfully compiled so now you can see this was done okay now we will... so uh, how our application is run, running successfully so there is a one file which was app.js file so here you can uh, change your uh, uh, content and without and save the page so automatically it's goes to uh, reload so now we will back to uh, how will so basically we will uh, copy this uh, content from here this was uh, paste in this uh, app.js file okay we'll just paste it from my side that's it okay now see this was goes to this error okay because uh, there is a one component which was defined here the network status so now we need to be uh creating one file so as per the process we will create one file from here this was and this was file goes to component uh, folder okay so now i'm creating a in src folder i'm creating a one folder and then i'm creating a one file okay so this was the file basically then this is the js so that's the file was created now just copy this uh, content okay so basically in this content we just define the uh, the one function which was net state notification over there we will just update the toast as an online or offline status so now back to uh, update this uh, content uh, of this file okay so basically this was content goes to the toaster as per the your network status so now this was done okay net uh, that's it okay that's it then save the file okay so that goes to and now check it okay now we will see this was goes to like this way and see this was come to now you are online okay let me refresh the page again okay this is the offline okay so now let me pull out and off the my net okay let's see just see this is the you are the you are offline now so basically that's the simple things now let me go back to the online so okay okay so it's according to like something yeah see this is you are the online so basically as per your network uh, pro process this was goes to update the status so over there we will just uh, create a one uh, file the app.js file in this file we just uh, appended the react uh, toasty file package and this is the simple content and there the toast container will be defined okay and then uh, network status one component which was created apart from this so there is a network status file which was created here we just uh, create a one function so it goes to the toaster uh, success and error message and then this is the network status which was defined the your online and offline status that's we have done it okay 
so now according to this code uh, we will define and we are getting the uh, correct uh, result here also so that's it and thank you so much for watching this my video please like and subscribe my uh, this video and please share with your colleagues and friend and please uh, update your comments in the same video so that i can provide you more update about the programming related content okay thank you so much bye bye Thank you.